Thanks, Professor. On this series of Muscle TV, we're going back to basics. We really want to show you how to train, not just what to train and when to train, but how to do each movement so you get the most out of it. A lot of people go wrong trying to complicate their workouts too much and missing out on form. Form's everything. We're going to teach you how to put your mind in the muscle. And today we're here with Lockie Harkin, a great up and coming bodybuilder who's going to show you how to do the movements that are involved. And today's subject is building a freaky back. So we're going to do a freaky workout. I'm going to give you eight exercises and say, folks, you have to pick your favourite six out of these eight. Four sets per exercise. So it's 24 sets total. Don't go soft. Try it out, it won't hurt you, and you've got to keep your rest time down to a minimum, keep the intensity up, and really pump the blood into those muscles. Our first exercise is my favourite. We always start with this one and we tell you time and time again how to do it properly on Muscle TV because it's the foundation of a good back workout. Every gym in the world's got a lat pull down, and if they don't, find a new gym. Let's go, mate. Now, we're going to get Lockie to bring his hands back in. You want your hands just on the bend of the bar there. Okay, sit down, mate. Now, slide yourself forward. You want to be nice and firm under the the pad that holds you and straps you into the machine. Pull down high to your chest and arch your back. Okay, now you do a couple of slow ones like that with a slight pause at the bottom. And as you warm up, you start to speed up a little bit. Now we need you to pull it a bit harder from the top, Lockie. The problem is if you pull it too slow, your biceps and forearms are doing all the work. So you need to go bang and then catch it at the bottom. We say it every time. Imagine someone's got their knee or their fist in the middle of your back. You've got to arch. If you don't have this arch going, then it's a big waste of time. What people do is pull them halfway down their stomach they roll their back forward, they have bag posture, and you don't get to flex your lats. You've got to pull your elbows around like this, you've got to stick your chest out, and you've got to arch your back every single time. The reason that we do this exercise first is because it warms up your whole back, it warms up your shoulders, which are a very complicated joint, warms up your traps, your upper traps, your lower traps, getting flexion from it, and we're working the whole back, and that's why this is a great one to start with. Head, rest, we'll put the weight up again. Remember, it's progressive resistance. So each time you do a set, you put the weight up by five or 10 kilos, stick to your capabilities, and it'll work great. Nine, 10, that'll do, mate. That's got the party started. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. This is a hammer strength pull down. We're gonna do an underhand grip just to mix it up a little bit because variety is the spice when it comes to training. We wanna hit your muscle from every angle possible. And this is a ripper. Grab that underhand there. That's it, Lock. Now sit down, and once again, you've got to arch your back. You'll hear me say this in every single exercise with your back. Pull down and arch and squeeze. The biggest mistake people make with this is they round their back off or they throw their head forward and put their chin on their chest, which makes the traps do the work. We don't want the traps to do the work. We want the lats to do the work. And that's perfect form, Lockie. Squeeze, that slight pause at the top, slight pause at the bottom. Nine. Come on, keep it strict. Ten. Great set. Our third type of pull down is a close grip, straight arm kind of pull down where we're not going to arch as much and we're not going to swing as much. This is a good backup if your gym doesn't have some of the plate loaded machines. This is a great way to do a pull down. It's a very strict exercise. Keep your body straight up and down with this one. Pull it down to your chest and hold it. One, two. Stretch, hold it for one at the top. One, two at the bottom. Stop, one at the top. You've got these muscles all through the middle of the back and that's what this does. This builds depth builds depth in your back, gives you a good, chunky, meaty back, and that's where a lot of your back size and strength come from. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now we're gonna show you three kinds of rows. Once again, when you do your workout, choose any two of those three. That way you've got a bit of variety in your workout. Our first one's an old stable. It's a seated row machine. Every gym should have one. Lockie, grab these handles. Once again, have a big stretch at the start. Take it down, almost put on the stack. We tell you every time, folks, you've gotta get the arch in the back. Go, Lockie. Two. Now you've got to pull it a bit harder from the start. And I'll tell you why we do it a bit faster. Boom. That's to take the arms out of it. If you do it too slow, his big arms and big forearms are going to take over the job and he's not going to get any development in his back. Where people go wrong is they round their back off, they stick their head forward, they never get an arch, therefore the arms do all the work, and they end up with no back at all. You've got to really walk around with imaginary lat syndrome, and that's no good. Nine. Last one. Come on, mate. Lift. Chin up, chest out. Hold it and stretch, good set, good set. Here we are with our second kind of row. This is a dumbbell row. First thing is to select the right bench height. If you're lucky enough that you've got a gym with different heights, check this out. This one comes up to sort of the shin level. This one comes up to just below your knee. If you're a taller bloke, you need to go with the taller bench. If you're a midget, you need to go with the shorter bench. Now the reason we've selected a taller bench is so that you can get a good stretch at the bottom. What we want to do is to arch the back, give it a good pull from the bottom, Lockie, pull it up nice and high, arch your back, 
You see he's bringing his shoulder blade right back, arching his back, and most importantly, he's got his back flat here. What we don't want is you to round your back off at the bottom of the movement, get the movement right, make sure you're feeling it in the right spot. You should be feeling this all through your lat, through your middle back, but definitely not in your lower back. If you're feeling this in your lower back, you're doing it all wrong. Get some help or watch this again and again until you get it right because you've got to arch and you've got to feel it in your lap. Six, good set mate, well done. Four, kill it. <laughs> Our third kind of rowing movement, we're going to use a very standard pin loaded machine. Any kind of chest supported row will do the same job. Underhand's good, just to mix it up a little bit and we wanted to pull through once again, arch the back, get the shoulders back. You'll see this works, the lower traps, the rear delts and most importantly the outer lats once again. And squeeze, hold it a bit longer, hold it, hold it, hold it, and stretch it out. What a workout. We're going back to the old school now, mate. An exercise that you would have found people doing in the 50s and 60s, right at the start of the whole bodybuilding thing, was a dumbbell pullover and a bench. Okay, you've got to cup it like that with your hands, thumbs under, and most importantly, keep your elbows slightly bent. Where people get injuries with these is doing them with a straight arm, which will just rip your shoulders right out of the bloody socket. So take it right back almost to the floor. You see his lats flaring out. This is what I'm talking about, and up you come. Now, you've got to get your breathing right with this. So as you go back, breathe in and drop your hips down a little bit as you go back. And as you come up, hips up and breathe out. So it's not a chest exercise. Anyone that says that's a little on the delusional side, maybe stuck in a time warp, this is a great back exercise. Up you go, nine. Excellent, mate. Last one, come on. Oh, you've killed it. Easy, easy. This is our final back exercise, our eighth one. We want you to do six out of these eight. This is a pullover. It's a little bit safer, probably a lot nicer to do. Let's go. Okay. Okay, underhand grip. Elbows on the pads. You've got to push through with your elbows. And most importantly, when you get to the bottom, you've got to pause, head back, Lockie, chest out, and arch your back. That's what I'm talking about. This is how you don't do it. See his back's pushed back against the bench. We don't want that. We want an arch. Arch your back, Lockie. That's it. So now, when you go up at the top, you'll see he's got a great arch there with his back. We want him to maintain that all the way through and arch it at the bottom. It's a complete movement. Really thickens your back up. Great for your shoulders in your range of motion. Helps with any shoulder injuries. We use this a lot of rehab with the footballers and different people that may have had a shoulder reco or a shoulder injury to increase the flexibility back into their shoulders, but it's definitely a back exercise. I would like to do this one last. It's a great finishing move because you can really rep out on it. So we're going to say four sets of 10 or four sets of 12, but when you get through your sets, if you've got a few more in you, it doesn't hurt to go as high as 15 reps with this exercise. I want you to hold this for five seconds. Five, four, it's your last one. Three, two, one. Flex those legs. Perfect, mate. Great form. That was a great workout. Here he is, folks. Lockie Harkin is as full as can be. He's pumped. We've got through that awesome workout, a freaky back workout. And until next week, we'll see you in the gym. There's no cure for this one.